Okay, today I'm going to do a 1,000 round review on the Ruger SR-22. This is a, obviously a 22 caliber handgun. It has a 10 round magazine, which I'll take out right now, make the gun safe. Um, I've had this gun for a long time, and it has, it's been a fantastic little handgun for me, so... Uh, I figured I'd do a review after about a thousand rounds, probably a little more, closer to 1,100, 1,200 rounds. Um, but this gun has functioned almost flawlessly for the entire time that I've had it. Um, I have some of the ammunition I've shot with it, um, you know, the Federal 36 grain, Federal target grade um, stuff, CCI standard velocity. Mini Mag, Mini Mag Hollow Point, this cheap Arms Corps stuff, and this Federal Target Gold Medal. Um, I've, I've shot a few more rounds that I don't have currently with me. Some of the, you know, the Winchester stuff. But this gun has eaten up every type of ammo I have put into it, with the exception of this. My SR-22 does not like this. It will not eject it. It'll fire and then just leave the, the spent brass in there. It will not eject it. I've probably tried about 20 to 30 rounds of this stuff and it has failed to eject on about two thirds of those. So it's a frustrating day at the range when you're trying to shoot this stuff. So I will take this and just knock it off the table because I do not like that. Everything else here has been fantastic. Um, gun is, you know, it's taken, uh, you know, a lot of, taken a lot of rounds through it and stuff. It's a little dirty right now. You can see some of the buildup in there. I haven't cleaned it after my last rains trip, but I, I have to recommend this to anyone. If you're a new shooter and you're just getting started and you want something that has cheap ammunition and is fun to shoot, that's the thing about this Ruger SR-22. It is fun to shoot. You can go out to the range, put three, four hundred rounds through it, and have a good time doing it. There's no, you know, obviously it's 22, so you don't have all the the um, repercussions of a, a larger caliber handgun. You don't get the what's the word I'm looking for? The vibrations when you shoot a larger caliber caliber bullet. You know, so it's a fun uh, little gun. I would recommend it to anybody. And that's it for this review. Not much to say about it, otherwise. If you don't have one, if you don't have a reliable 22 that you can just shoot for fun, consider this one. Thanks all. Take care.